the sport that I've done since I was five years old. I've loved it you know, ever since I was a kid and I got to watch my dad do it and I got to watch my grandpa do it and, and that's how I, how I started in the game. I just had a passion for the game since I was little. You know, I just, just love the game. Oh, he got it! Probably what attracted me to it first was when I started when I was younger, I was actually pretty good at it right away. There's strike one. I love it that you don't have to be seven foot tall or you don't have to be small either. You can, uh, anybody can do it. Duke will not go down without a fight, though. Here he is, bottom of the seventh. Hey, you're right, Rob. Norm Duke's like a, like a badger when you get him cornered. You know, you don't want any part of that. It's a pretty amazing sport, bowling up. I come from a very small country town in Australia, and I've seen over 35 countries. I've met some of the most amazing people in the world, uh, all because of bowling. If it's something you never, ever can master, you can learn something from every time you go out. And you know, even if you're bowling, you know, you learn more when you bowl bad than you do when you bowl good. And, and it's just something that's just so challenging with everything trying to get better, or keeping up with the equipment and everything else. Just the fact that you can never ever master this sport. I grew up with it. I mean, I was, I like to say a victim. I'd say the number one thing I love about bowling is just the fact that it's, it's just you on the lanes. In bowling, on the individual level, I think it's, nothing's tougher than when it's only on your shoulders and nobody else's. There's always something that can keep challenging you. You know, if you think you've perfected the game, then it's time to move on to the next level and, you know, challenge yourself. Messenger, no! We have a tie! Wow! 218 to 218 doesn't get any better! I love the thrill of, of competition. I love the thrill of winning. I love the thrill of trying to knock 10 pins down on different conditions. He is a bad man today. That is huge. I love the fact that the environment constantly changes and that there's a, a puzzle that you have to put together every single day and, and figuring out the pieces and the challenges and overcoming that challenge. Which Chris Barnes will we see? The future Hall of Famer or the player that has struggled from time to time on television to become a Triple Crown winner. All he needs is any kind of a mark. There it is! Yeah. And Barnes has the Triple Crown! You know, it's just a pretty good feeling when you throw that pure shot and you take all ten and put them straight back.